before we got going today, I wanted to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about me. I am a mother to five wonderful children. I am a wife to a great guy of 23 years and a mother to one other little fur baby named Hercules. Um, the reason for me starting this channel was to share with you something that has been life-changing for me and is continuing to be. I am just on the beginning of this journey and I wanted to share it with all of you guys. So I am a certified yoga teacher, a trained nutritional consultant, and I've loved fitness my whole life. When I first got married, I taught aerobics and kickboxing and loved it. Um, and then I took a break and raised my five children, which I'm so thankful that I was able to do. However, over the years, <clears throat> my weight has steadily increased, as I know happens to most of us. And um, it just kind of slapped me in the face when I hit my 40s. And I realized I needed to do something. Um, I have done various diets, kind of up and down, which I know all of us have. Um, and I had never really found anything. I've lost weight over the years, but always gained it back over another year or so, and sometimes usually more. My highest weight, I ended up weighing more than I did while I was pregnant with my two twins at full term. So needless to say, I was not in the best shape. I was pre-diabetic, um, just felt lethargic, and honestly could feel it affecting me spiritually, and emotionally um, as well as mentally and I think for me a lot of the emotional and <clears throat> spiritual aspects of it was because of the guilt that I would feel afterwards and the disappointment I would feel in myself not being able to stay strong and I am a very strong um, woman and I feel like why can I not do this why can I not stay away from cheese or sugars. Those are my weaknesses. Um, and I was raised <clears throat> not, not really liking meat ever. It's never really um, resonated with my body. Um, from a young age, if my parents ever took us out to get a hamburger, I would always take the hamburger patty off and give it to my brother. And I would eat the bun with the ketchup and the pickle and lettuce on it. So it's never, meat has never been something that um, my body has wanted um, tremendously. For about the last 10 years, I have been pescatarian. So I've only had fish um, and maybe twice a month at that. So um, not often. My huge weakness, like I mentioned, was dairy and sugars. And cheese, oh my goodness, I would love a cheese pizza with all the veggies, but extra cheese. I would love the pasta with lots of Alfredo. I would love asparagus and veggies, but drizzled in butter. So um, that was just a vicious cycle. And I love the sweets. I love to cook, love it. I have homemade eclairs, oh my goodness, they're my favorite. Homemade cakes, love them. But again, just unhealthy um, to <clears throat> to, to put in my body. And as a trained nutritional consultant, I knew that. And I think that that's what affected me most emotionally was that I knew this and yet I wasn't doing it. And I've read so many books and studied so many things regarding various um, diets and I'm still still learning so much. Um, but I, I've read one recently and I wanted to share with you um, this one here, I hope you can see it, called The Starch Solution. And I really like the way that Dr. McDougall, he, um, he I, I just love the way he presents um, this diet. And it's really not a diet, it's a lifestyle. And I love the way that he presented it, um, as well as with tips and menus and recipes. And so it's kind of resonated with me and he, advocates a vegan diet. He and many of the doctors that I love, um, Dr. Campbell, Esselstein, um, Dr. Barnard, um, there's so many studies that have been done about the benefit of this type of diet. Um, either completely no meat or very little. 
Um, Dr. McDougall again advocates a vegan diet as well as those other doctors that we um, I mentioned and he specifically advocates no oil and that has been a challenge for me the no oil for me it was not a hard thing um, initially the dairy um, and the cheese was but you guys I've developed so many yummy recipes um, and researched and kind of tweaked them to fit me and my cravings that I'm so excited to share with you for various like vegan cheeses. Um, we have like vegan chicken nuggets, which are homemade. They're not this junky processed stuff, but I love them. My kids love them and I have felt so much better. So I started this journey September 1st. So I have been vegan <clears throat> 57 days. And I wish I could say I've been completely off oil. I have not. Um, I don't use it like in large amounts to cook, but I will use it um, like to spray my pans. Um, if I'm making pancakes or rolls, whatever I'm making, I, I have used um, a little bit of that. So just to be completely upfront and honest with you, which I want to do on this journey, which I hope you will join me. I hope that right now you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel and like this video and um, join me as I go throughout this journey. Um, the first month, I lost a total of 12 pounds and my blood sugar, which had been um, one, I, I need to get my right numbers, but I believe it was 146 at the highest. My blood sugar is now down to 101 and that is fasting. I do have diabetes in my family, so I'm very <clears throat> careful at checking my blood sugar Usually weekly since I began this, I haven't really worried about it because I don't feel junky and crummy when I wake up um, from having a horrible night of binging on sweets. So, um, <clears throat> but I am tracking that and every month I'm weighing in to see my progress. So again, from September 1st to October 1st, I lost a total of 12 pounds, not feeling hungry, not feeling like I was lacking in anything. I do think my hardest part was um, my, both of my boys' birthdays are in September and we always make homemade cake and homemade ice cream. And I did make all of that. I, don't, I didn't want them, they're not, on, they're not doing this protocol. Um, although some of them are slowly changing, I will say. But um, we still made the homemade cake. We still made the homemade ice cream. And not having that was super hard because I'm one that when I'm making homemade frosting for the cake, I will take a lick of it to see how it tastes. And so that was different for me. But once you've done it, I've since had my um, fifth child had her birthday this, um, oh my goodness, excuse me, she's not had it yet, you guys. There you go, that's mom. No, my husband had his birthday after them and we made the same homemade cake and homemade ice cream and it wasn't as hard that time. So I am finding those things that were difficult for me, it is getting easier. And I, I can't tell you how thankful I am. It has changed. Um, the way I feel physically and of course I want to um, <clears throat> I would love to fit into that pair of jeans that I've held on to since I was in my 20s but for me this journey is not just about being super thin um, and fitting into those jeans although that's a great benefit um, and I look forward to that process but it's also about um, just improving and feeling confident um, and mentally and not feeling that guilt, but just feeling confident in all that I do. And so I have found that even within these first 57 days, um, it's been amazing. So I'm excited to share with you um, recipes that I have, that I've had and loved my whole life, but that I have tweaked to make them vegan. I have tri strived to stay on a plant-based uh, protocol or menu, lifestyle, I should say. So I'm not eating a lot of processed foods, um, store-bought things. I am making everything on my own and that has been good for me. I, I like to do that. I have found little secrets, meal prepping and um, little things that I can get when I don't have a lot of time to prepare. So um, I'm excited to share those with you. Today I wanted to share with you just one recipe that I love. We always, <clears throat> I love oatmeal and it's a great breakfast. And so I wanted to share with you a recipe that I have um, had for a long time. Now, I do need to mention that I'm also an avid hiker. I love the outdoors and I could spend literally the whole day out there. I love it. So um, I'm an avid hiker. I'm a strength trainer. I strength train lift every day at the gym. 
and um, I also love yoga. So I do at least a yoga flow, at least a 15 minute yoga flow for myself daily. Um, so with all of that, I am trying to make sure, it's been a juggling act, trying to make sure that I am eating enough veggies, I am eating those things, um, legumes, rice, starches, that are high in protein as well. Um, and so um, my oatmeal um, that I do, I do several. One of them has a plant-based protein in it. So that is a processed protein, but it is strictly plant-based. Um, and I do like this brand. So I will show you that version that I do. Um, and then I'll also show you in a different video, another oatmeal that I do that does not have any oatmeal in it. And I'm always careful to add flaxseed powder um, and other seaweed options that have high omega-3s. And I'm just learning this journey um, as far as making sure that I keep all my levels with my proteins and omega-3s um, up and doing that vegan-wise. But like I said, you guys, I would absolutely recommend this book to anyone who has either considered um, going into this lifestyle, either fully or partially. Um, he really does do a great job just presenting the health benefits of it and um, not only to ourselves, but to our environments <clears throat> and um, to animals. I'm an animal lover and I have been my whole life. And one thing that Dr. Bernard said that really resonated with me was, he said, you know, once you start the vegetarian lifestyle, it's kind of like a rabbit hole and you just, before you know it, you're vegan. And for me, it hasn't been a super fast one. Um, it has been a, like I said, I've, I've been pescatarian for 10 to 12 years now, but going completely vegan as I've looked into um, just how the animals, animals are treated and the benefits to our environment and not just that, to our health. Um, it's been amazing. So I'm excited to share this journey with you. I hope again that you'll subscribe to my channel and um, like this video. And I'm hoping to make a video at least right now once a week, sharing different recipes, different tips and tricks that I have learned and I'm still learning and sharing my results. I'm still on this journey. Um, again, I'm down 12 pounds so far. It's not all about the weight loss, I know, but I know that that, at least for me, that was a huge thing for me. So when I would look over um, videos and different information, the weight loss was huge. So I'm gonna make sure I share that journey with you every step of the way. So with that, let's get into making some yummy breakfast oatmeal. Hey guys, so one thing um, that is awesome to know about um, the starch solution is that um, carbs are not bad. That never really resonated with me um, when I would read about these various diets that were super high in protein, but no carbs. Um, I was raised thinking and knowing that grain was the staff of life. And I always just wondered how, if it's the staff of life, can it be bad? And so learning and researching and understanding that good carbs are good for you and they're necessary for our bodies. So when I make this oatmeal, you will probably think, wow, that's a lot of carbs. Um, but when it's eaten in the right way, it gives us energy throughout the day. Honestly, this oatmeal, I could eat, I eat in the morning and I'm not hungry again until one or two in the afternoon. So this is a great filler oatmeal. Um, but that is one thing that's important to know about Dr. McDougall is that, um, he emphasizes that in his book, as well as Dr. Barnard and Esselstein and Campbell, that these foods are good for us. They are natural and our bodies need the, that natural sugar from the carbs, from whole food carbs. So that's kind of exciting. That was exciting for me to go, okay, I can have this and not feel guilty and still lose weight and still feel full. And so the oatmeal that I'm about to make for you, I will have this with a big plate of steamed veggies. Um, and when I say big plate, I should say like a salad plate of um, steamed veggies. One thing that he recommends that I really try to do is to fill your plate halfway full of carbs, um, healthy starches um, and healthy carbs, such as potatoes or rice, beans, all those things that I mentioned. And I'm so excited to share with you recipes that I have learned 
that have worked um, <clears throat> for me and for my family that we enjoy. So, but then the other half of your plate to fill with veggies, whether it's a salad, um, I quick and easy for me is steaming some spinach, sauteing, water sauteing up some mushrooms in there, zucchini um, with yummy seasonings. I always try it to eat my veggies, my spinach and zucchini, whatever it might be. I strive to eat that first just because they are less calorie dense. So they will fill me and then I will move on to my starches. And um, I have felt full and I have felt great during this process. So um, there's some ups and downs and little tricks that I've had to learn in adjusting um, as far as detoxing from my old way of eating, but, but it's totally doable and it, it can be done and it's worth it. So with that, all right, let's get started on the soap mill. All right guys, so to start things off, I have my oats. Um, we always use, this is a fourth a cup of oats, just whole um, old fashioned oats. I also use a plant-based protein when I'm working out, and this is the protein that I like. We just get it at Costco, um, but it is a plant-based. I, in all uh, frankness, it does have a little bit of sunflower oil in it. Um, I've yet to find a protein, a plant-based one that does not, but I am looking. But I haven't found, um, I haven't found it to add a lot of calories um, or to an extent where I'm not losing. So the serving size for this is two scoops. I just use one scoop for our oatmeal. So that does lessen the calories. So a fourth a cup of I like the chocolate. And then these are for toppings afterwards. So I just use my half a teaspoon. These are hemp hearts. Just use a half a teaspoon there. This is a flaxseed powder. They're super high in omega-3. So I actually, because I'm not getting fish or anything like that, I actually use one teaspoon of this. And I will also put this in a yummy protein shake that I do. And I will share that recipe um, later as well. This is chia seeds. I'll do a half a teaspoon of those. And um, hemp hearts are also really high in protein, which I love. And then I will just use, you can use water. Um, I used to use water until I went vegan and now I use almond milk. So this is just, I get this almond milk at Walmart. It's the unsweetened vanilla. It's 30 calories per cup. And I will just mix this to the consistency I'm looking for. So. I actually don't have that measured, <laughs> but I kind of figure that everybody likes it different, so. All right, a little bit of salt, which I'll be totally left over there. But that's the consistency that I like, you guys. So let me go and cook this, and I will be right back. But I know that there's a lot of people who may not want to use the microwave, that's totally okay. I've made it on the stove top as well. And then to top mine off, I will always put this here. I always try and get some fresh, fresh berries in there. And for a little extra protein, I will put some PB Fit. Um, I usually, the serving size for PB Fit is a fourth of a cup. This is just an eighth of a cup, but I just like the flavor that it adds and the texture. And then I will add a banana. And you guys, I will have a whole banana every morning. So I know that <laughs> you may are looking at this going, wait a minute, that's so many carbs. But you guys, I kid you not, um, it is plant-based and I have lost weight on this. Um, I've been eating this every day and again, I lost 12 pounds um, within a month and I'm excited to see how many more, so. Right, you guys, I hope that you try that oatmeal and that you like it. It really is one of my favorites. I will have that or if I have more time, I will make pancakes in the morning um, and a protein smoothie, all with just some steamed spinach. I will show you all the different recipes and I hope that you try it and that you like it. 
So again, please subscribe below and please like this video. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye.